How to create sustainable multi-stakeholder dialogues. In this video, you learn how to create your multi-stakeholder dialogues so you can engage with all the stakeholders that are important to your project. Bringing them together is called a multi-stakeholder dialogue. All participants share common interests and visions and should also benefit from the activities you're planning during these dialogues. The process has four steps. Your first step is to map all your stakeholders, their interests, reasons for joining, and what they can bring to the table. They could be bridging gaps, bringing different perspectives, specific experiences, and common interests for collaborations. During a kickstart meeting with the stakeholders you selected, you identify the objectives of the dialogues and how you would like them to be run. I think uh, this multi-sector uh, dialogue will help for you know the development of irrigation because it brings all the you know the sectors that are uh, dealing on irrigation because I have seen that from the government, uh, the private sector, as well as the researchers. Step two is to select key partners to team up with to co-facilitate the dialogues and identify the issues that the dialogues should address. The more relevant stakeholders you involve, the better. Step three is to organize issue-based meetings. Organizing these meetings is the core activity of the dialogues. These meetings are carefully planned and organized regularly to discuss issues and find solutions for member stakeholders. Not everyone has to be invited to every meeting. Participants are selected based on the topic and their level of interest. The dialogues are a joint effort, with funding mobilized from different organizations. It's really a great opportunity for us uh, also to participate in this uh, uh, dialogue. We can collaborate together, then we can meet uh, those, those challenges and we can address uh, and we can provide a good solution. Especially for for developing countries. The, the challenges they face, the success they get, uh, we will share. Step four is to ensure that the dialogues are sustained. You must plan ahead for the continuation of the dialogues beyond the end of your project. You will need to identify the organizations and projects that are eager to continue the dialogues similarly. Watch the other videos in the Adaptive Scaling Toolkit to make informed decisions about scaling innovations. This tool is part of the systemic Adaptive Scaling Toolkit that IUMI has developed. We at IUMI would like to encourage everyone to use this tool so that agricultural innovations and water solutions can be catalyzed by and with the private and public sector investment.